Hi guys, Jared O'Neill here, Will Castle Tag Raiden. So basically I'm uh, on uh, the same job I've been on recently, doing all this uh, panel wood and paper hanging and stuff like that there. So the customers asked me to do this fireplace here and um, basically hand painted. So I'm just going to do a video on, for me, how to, the best way to go about doing a, a hand painted fireplace. Um, you know, first and foremost, no need to take it off, take it away, sand it back to fire wood, you know. Uh, you know, you're just wasting time and labour. It doesn't need to be done. You can do a good job, there's a smooth finish on it. Uh, all, all you need to do to this fireplace is, you can see in the background here what I've got. That's what you need, a degreaser. Clean it down, make sure there's no grease in the surface, whatever. Uh, then get... Uh, these wee pads here uh, to be 120 grade uh, give it all the sand down after twice down uh, so you can give the primer a key okay and this is a primer that I'm using on this today it's a sensor cover stain excellent primer it's an oil based one uh, it adheres to the surface very good it really does spawn to the, any shiny surfaces you know and then this is what I'm putting on I'm using Johnson's uh, water-based aqua satin. Um, they have the they have the brand new one out aqua guard. I've done a fitting on that as well, which is excellent. But this is good stuff too, you know. Um, so it's it's mixed. Uh, the color is called London clay. It's a fire and ball color. And um, I'll just show you the two colors that we have here. Of a, uh, this is the new um, fire and ball color card. Uh, so there's the colours there. This is the colour that's on the wood, the panel wood here. And I went two tones down for, for the fireplace. The customer wanted the fireplace darker than the panel wood, so I went for this here. Okay, so I've got my primer, my finished paint, it's all prepared and ready to go. So, as I say, when you're doing something like this, degrease it. Uh, give it a good sand down, just just to, to take, uh, give the surface a case, as I say, for your primer. Use a good primer, it's going to stick to the surface. And uh, now this sensor primer, you know, uh, it goes off pretty quickly. So you do really, you know, when you're doing furniture, kitchens, fireplaces and stuff like that, you really do need to be careful. This primer, you know, uh, is the most important coat, in my opinion. It has to be put on right the first time um, you can't have a, you know if you put the primer on if you just start priming that you know you've that much work to do in this fireplace you know uh, you'll get to the point where you know you'll be in certain areas where the primer starting to dry and then it's going to overlap and you're going to see thick edges you're going to see heavy brush marks and stuff like that so you really do need to know what you're doing so i just try and keep this simple for you all wood obviously comes in sections so I've explained this before, just do it in sections. That's basically it. Follow the grain and do one section at a time. You know, I've already done a couple of wee bits here. Uh, I'll just show you if you just look around there, okay? So I've done this wee piece here. It's a lot of detail on it, you know? And uh, so you can see where it just cut, cut it off there, okay? Uh, and I've done the side pieces too. Just bring this around here. You can see here, okay. So basically, I'll do the front. Just cut the edge off here, you know. Uh, I'll do the middle section, and I say you've always a wee section here to cut it off, you know. And it is straight forward, and I'll do the top uh, section. Uh, I'll do it at the far end, you know. Uh, so that's it. It's straight forward enough, and of course. Um, you know, where the paint is going, you know, you really do need to, um, see, see where it's all taped off there. Just tape it off, you know, um, where the primer's going. And this is getting three coats, so it's quicker, it's easier, it's tighter to, to use mask and tape, you know. Um, and that's it, you know, on the, on the ground as well, you know, have it already taped up. So I'll just start putting this primer on. I have it poured into a wee kettle here. I'm using an inch and a half brush. Um, I use these wee brushes quite regular and uh, I'm quite happy with them, you know. 
It's a wee uh, Ace Fusion brush, okay. This wee uh, oh, camera on the holder is playing up a wee bit here, so on this, there we go. Sorry about that, there we go. So, I'm going to do this wee section for you. So you what we're doing, okay. So, the next section's here. As I say, just cut a, cut a, a straight line into there. Don't go onto this, do you know what I mean? Because if you go onto that, then you're going to have to start bringing that around as well. So you, you have to do this in sections. It's very, very important to do it that way, you know. I had my cameraman yesterday with me. It was a Mark. He's on another job today, so it is a lot easier. Anyway. So as I say, just um, take your time. And do the sections. And whenever you're, you know, as I say, when I say this, this, this primer is very, very important. What I mean by that is, you know, if there's a heavy brace mark on the primer, there'll be a heavy brace. You'll see the the brace marks on the finished coat. So these brace marks have to be very, very fine. So you can just see there where I just cut cut a straight line in there. Just lightly, just lay it off. No pressure on your brush at all. Again, see just at the very bottom here. Don't go into this section here. Just cut it off. And you can see what it's just on there. And already you can feel that primer going off. So that's why it's really important to just do one section at a time when you're, you're uh, working with this primer. It's a matter of fact, um, when I'm putting the finish coat on as well, I would do it this way as well, you know. Um, you know if you, and then you know where you are, you know. As I say, when you're doing an old fan face like this, there, this is real quality. There's, you know, it's a hard, solid wood. Um, there's sections. In it, you know, there's a separate section there. For example, here, this middle section has a grain in it, and just in the corner here, there's a separate piece of wood with the grain going down that way. So, whenever I, I have to follow that grain there and then bring it across as well, here, you know. So, you really do need to be careful when you're doing the likes of this, you know. So, the next section that I can do here, right, is I can do this middle section here. Okay, so there's a wee border here. Okay, so I can cut that off. So we'll just bring this section down now. You can see where I've taped it off there, so. So again, when I start this, I'm going to have to follow this right around pretty quickly, you know. That's all one piece, right around there.
So this wee line here, don't go onto this middle section, just stay on this line here. So the frame's running across this way here, and in this section it's running down. You just a wee join there, just about there. And again, that's a separate piece of wood, cut it off there. You, as I say, you don't have much working time whenever you're laying it off here, you know. And then, so this edge is still wet here, we'll bring it across. So you can see it down here. Cross here and down. This is a lovely fireplace, so I have to say, you know, uh, I've done this wood, I think it was the same uh, a few years ago, uh, done this panel wood, and the customer uh, was talking about painting this back then, and then she just let, she, she just didn't want to paint it because of the, you know, it is an old piece of wood, it, obviously it's with the house, it's probably over 100 years old, you know, so uh, she's taken a, a gamble this time and wants it painted, so again, um, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you, so you have to make sure this here looks right, make sure the colour's right, and you have a nice finish on it, you know. This cover stain uh, primer, you know, you, you can feel how good it is. See, whenever you even apply it, you can already feel how it's really uh, sticking to the surface, you know. And again, as I say, you really have to um, be quick working with this stuff, you know, and uh, because it does go off pretty quickly. And that's why, as I say, it is important to just do it, whether it's a fireplace or a piece of furniture, you know, do it in sections.
So there you have that wee little section done there. Uh, so basically what I can do here now is um, here we go here. So I'm going to do this middle panel. See what I was showing here to say there's a wee separate piece of weight in here, so the grain runs down here, there's a line here, and it comes across. Lay that off there, like so. Okay, and then you just feel your joint here and just bring that down as tight as you can and lay it off very lightly. And again, you have that uh, wee piece of wood here as well. have it you know so I haven't much left in this fair place to do here um, so basically um, 
you know, the section that I've done here um, of just a save piece here. So do you see, I'll bring this up, you have to follow this round to the top. It goes straight across, because it's all one piece of weight, and you bring it down there. You can see it just, just comes round and down. And you see those two wee corner pieces, you know. So basically, you know, when you look at this fireplace, you have um, one section there, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven separate sections on that fireplace, you know, so. Uh, anyway, so hopefully that gives you an idea on how to go about, you know, doing a fireplace or furniture, uh, from cleaning it down, to sand it, what primer to use, you know. And uh, sure, anyway, if you have any questions, by all means, get back to me. And um, uh, tomorrow I'll let that dry fully, uh, let the primer fully harden. Tomorrow I'll uh, give it a light sand and put my first coat of satin on it. And I'll do a wee video on that. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.